Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the design of ripple or asynchronous counter design 2. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. Design of ripple or asynchronous counter. Second design. Design a 3 bit asynchronous ripple counter using T flip flop. We need to design the 3 bit asynchronous ripple counter using the T flip flop. So we know that counter is a yeah, counting. Counting from 0 to n or n to 0. It is made up of flip flops. This asynchronous or ripple means in this asynchronous counter the flip flop first flip flop will receive the clock pulse remaining flip flop the output of one flip flop is given given as a clock signal to the next flip flop so the operation is asynchronous synchronous mean all the flip flop will receive the same clock pulse right so the t flip flop we are going to use the diagram shows the three bit asynchronous ripple counter using the t flip flop so it is clearly given there is 3 bit asynchronous counter so we need 3 T flip flops are used A, B, C C is the MSB, A is the LSB what is the nature of the T flip flop if the T input is 1 the output will toggle if T input is 0 no change in the output present state and next state we know that in flip flop we have present state and next state if T is 0 present state and next state both are same no change if t input is 1 the present state will change it to toggle 0 means 1 it will 1 mean it will change it to 0 right so the clock pulse is given here for the first flip flop the clock pulse is given and also the input for all the flip flop is logic 1 so 1 is given so what happen 1 means the output will toggle so every clock pulse the output will toggle for a for a flip flop A because click clock pulse is given and also given logic 1 so every clock pulse the output will toggle from 0 to 1 1 to 0 the second flip flop also logic 1 but the clock pulse is QA is the clock pulse of the second flip flop and also it is inverted negative edge so if QA is 0 0 means 1 is applied so if it is QA is 0 the output will toggle if qa is 1 1 means 0 is applied so no change right qa 0 means qb will toggle qa 1 means qb will not toggle same same uh, state will maintain similarly c also high output is given qb is 0 qc will toggle qb is 1 means no change in the qc so this is the nature of this asynchronous using the t flip flop now we will see the clock diagram so that it will, so that we can see whether we are getting 3 bit binary output as shown in the diagram the clock input of only first stage of flip flop the clock input of second stage of flip flop is triggered by first flip flop output QA first flip flop output QA is given as a second flip flop clock pulse similarly third flip flop is triggered by second flip flop output QB right since t input is connected to logic 1 each flip flop toggle at clock input that is the nature if the t input is 1 every clock pulse the output will toggle now we will see the clock diagram and the 8 3 3 bit output 3 means 2 to the power 3 there are 8 outputs will be there 0 to 7 so this is the clock pulse so the 8 3 3 bit counter this is 3 bit asynchronous counter 2 to the power 3 8 states are available so 8 clock pulse we are referring and this is the QA initially all are 0 QA QB QC all are 0 it is reset to 0 so we already discussed this clock pulse is given to the first flip flop so whenever the clock pulse that is negative edge the clock pulse is inverted clock pulse is given this is called positive edge changing from 0 to 1 high level low level to high level but here we are giving invert when the clock pulse going from high to low during this edge this is called positive edge this is called negative edge so during every negative edge the, 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 the output of T flip flop will toggle right so if you, the clock pulse is directly given that is called positive edge during every rising edge 
the flip flop will toggle here given inverted so during every negative edge trailing edge the flip flop will toggle so initially zero so during this negative edge zero is changed to one this is positive edge we have to refer only this negative edge again during this negative edge one is changed to zero again at the end of this negative edge zero to one right so this due to inverter during this every trailing edge the output of flip flop will toggle right so see here at this zero changed to one at this one changed to zero here zero changed to one like that it is goes what about the second flip flop the first flip flop output is given as a second flip flop clock pulse that also inverted so whenever the output of first flip flop going negative edge this is negative edge similarly this is negative edge this is negative edge this is negative edge this is positive uh, low to high is positive high to low is negative so during every negative edge the second flip flop will toggle see here initially zero here the zero will be maintained here one here the one is given here one so no change here again goes to zero zero mean changes zero to one changes we already know that it is inverted if one is given as a clock pulse mean after inverted it is zero so no change if zero is applied as a clock pulse inversion due to inversion one is there so one means it will toggle right during this trailing edge because of zero value zero is changed to one again here one so no change one is maintained again here zero so changed from one to zero here oh, due to one no change due to zero changes zero to one one is maintained right so during every trailing edge there is a change right what about the third flip flop the second flip flop output qb is given as a clock pulse to the third flip flop so during this trailing edge negative edge the flip flop will toggle right so zero zero so no change here one so there no change here zero is there zero mean one is applied so there is a change so that zero is changed to one until the next trailing edge so same same one is maintained right so due to zero no change due to one no change here zero is there so this zero means one is applied so the state is changes t flip flop state changes otherwise during every trailing edge there is a change during positive edge no change now you can see that this is the lsb and this is msb right zero 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 one zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 zero one 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 so we got the eight combination of output three bit asynchronous counter eight outputs are available right again after this eight again it will reset to zero right so i will explain again the first flip flop based on the clock pulse so during every trailing edge because inverted clock pulse is given so during every trailing edge the state is changes second flip flop based on the output of first flip flop so whenever the first flip flop output goes to trailing that is high to low the state changes here zero changed to one here one changed to zero third flip flop output is second flip flop input is, output is given as a clock pulse so whenever there is a negative edge of second flip flop output third flip flop output will toggle zero to one accordingly we got this eight different combination of output as a three bit asynchronous counter subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening